Let's look at an example of a system that's meant to be interpreted via phase angle as opposed to being interpreted as a number along the real line. The most important thing to note about this type of system is that the right-hand side for theta dot is going to have to be periodic because however we define the behavior of the vector field, however we define f of theta when theta is zero, we better have the same f of theta when f is two pi because over on the circle, zero and two pi are actually the same place. So whatever's happening at pi needs to also happen at three pi, and whatever's happening at pi over two needs to also happen at five pi over two, because at a particular spot along the phase line, it needs to be the case that no matter which of the corresponding angles I go to on the line, I'll get the same value of f. Let's take a look at two different examples and see whether they can be interpreted as sitting on a circle. For theta dot equals theta squared, let's head to this location, which corresponds to theta equals zero, or two pi, or four pi, or six pi. Well, if I think of it as zero, I would get d theta dt is zero, and so this would be a fixed point. But if I think of it as two pi, I would get d theta dt is positive. I can't reconcile those. I'm getting different values of d theta dt depending on what number I assign to this location. So this doesn't work for being interpreted on a circle. For this example, sine theta is periodic. When I'm at a particular angle, it doesn't matter if I think about that location as zero or two pi or four pi or six pi, sine theta is gonna return the same value. And so d theta dt is well-defined at every single point along the circle. That means that this is a good example of a vector field that can be interpreted in this way. Another dynamical system that it's appropriate to interpret along a circle is theta dot equals omega. Since theta dot is constant, no matter what choice of each angle I use, I'll get back the same value. What's the behavior of this system? Well, d theta dt is always positive, so our phase angle will just always increase, and we will move periodically around the circle. When d theta dt is constant, the solution to this differential equation is just theta of t is equal to omega t plus the initial phase angle, from this, we can actually figure out the period of the periodic motion. One period will have elapsed when omega t increases by 2 pi. That will happen when the time has changed by 2 pi over omega. This is a very simple model of an oscillator, specifically a periodic oscillator with constant period. Now consider that theta dot equals sine theta example. So here's f of theta. Interestingly, f of theta is zero at zero and at pi. So actually, there's two fixed points of this system and um, positive, negative. So we can see which one is stable and which one is unstable. So we have an unstable fixed point here and a stable fixed point here, and our angle would evolve like this. At the moment, in this example, we actually wouldn't see oscillation. We would see that the angle is tending towards pi. Now let me adjust the example slightly. Let me shift d theta dt more negative by a shift of greater than one. Now I don't have any fixed points, and d theta dt is always negative, so this will be an oscillator. At some points during the oscillation, d theta dt is smaller, so theta is moving more slowly. At other points, it's moving more quickly, but nonetheless, d theta dt is always in decreasing, and so we will have a, a periodic oscillation. By adjusting the parameter r, when r is zero, we know there's no oscillation. When r is sufficiently large, we know there's oscillation, this has actually become a system where we can turn oscillation on and off. To see when we have oscillation and when we don't have oscillation, we can construct a bifurcation diagram. Parameter values where there are no fixed points mean that our system is in an oscillatory state, while at parameter values with fixed points, the behavior will tend towards some fixed point. Fixed points of the system are given by sine theta minus r equals zero. So to draw in the fixed points, 
um, I draw in the curve where sine theta minus r equals zero. That's the curve r equals sine theta. To figure out the curve, I actually kind of, I plugged in pi over two, and I saw that sine of pi over two is one, so I would want r to be one, and I plugged in negative pi over two, and then I drew in that sine curve. I still need to figure out the stability information. I know from my earlier example that um, zero was unstable and pi was stable. So this is the stable branch, this is the unstable branch, and this is the stable branch. I've completed the bifurcation diagram. For r values above one, uh, my phase angle will increase, corresponding to oscillation. For, for r values below negative one, my phase angle is decreasing, also corresponding to oscillation. In between, I actually have a single stable fixed point, and so the angle will tend towards that fixed point, and the system will not be oscillatory.